for a motion. Uh, I have a motion, sir. Okay. I have a motion to add, to amend the agenda to add a proclamation of the city of Clarkston uh, regarding Somalia's uh, sovereignty, unity, territorial integrity, and political independence. Second. Okay. Uh, um, all in favor um, of amending the agenda, raise your hands. Aye. Aye. All right. And council and servants joined us. Up here, I'd like to bring the you know the community as one as it was. So the, the mayor and the city of Clarkston councilman decided, you know, to issue another proclamation of unity. And here is what it is. Proclamation of the city of Clarkston regarding Somali sovereignty, unity, territorial integrity, and political independence, where the city of Clarkston recognizes the United States government's support, Somali sovereignty, territorial integrity, political independence, bill, its 1961 constitutional referendum. Whereas the city appreciates the fact that the Somalis have provided the city of Clarkston with a unique social, cultural influence, fundamental, enriching extra character of our city. And whereas the city of Clarkston recognizes and acknowledges the United States position of its effort to help to rebuild Somalia as one country within the constitution, which includes the state of Punlan, Somaliland, Tripoliland, Galmudu, Southwest, and Hirshabella. Whereas the city of Clarkson upheld the objective of the United States government, which is to promote political and economic stability, prevent the use of Somalis as a heaven for terrorism, and alleviate human crisis caused by the year of conflict. Whereas the city of Clarkson now calls all Somali Americans to seek unity after decades of violence and division. Whereas the city of Clarkson declares the 1st of July as the Somali American Day, and the day where families, business, community, center, students, and other social groups will come together for the Somali American Day. A space to strengthen, to preserve our unity and encourage to support each other as a community. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Terry, on behalf of the city of Clarkston and its council members, do hereby proclaim that the first day of first day of July is a Somali American Day, signed by Ted Ted. Thank you, Council Member um, for introducing that. Um, okay, so we just have one more item for the administrative section, um, and that is on the committee. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Mohammed Hassan. Um, I'm, the, I'm speaking on behalf of the Somali community who, who are here to, tonight uh, for the reason that they all, including the mayor and the most of the council members are aware of, which is the proclamation that Ahmed Hassan just read out. So we were, we're here really to show uh, our appreciation and thanks. Especially I want to thank the mayor of uh, Clarkston, Ted Curry, and Mr. Carl and Daria YPBL for your time to sit down with the community and to actually um, um, realize and acknowledge this, the, the, the value and the importance of Somali unity here in Clarkston. We are a very small community and we want to stick with together. We don't want outsiders to come to us and create a division. On top of that, surprisingly tonight, I want to also thank Mr. Ahmed Hassan, who just read out the proclamation for his, uh, for his expression that whatever happened and whatever disturbance that happened in the Somali community, it is something that we can all undo and move forward. So, um, that's very important, and uh, we will have a community meeting together and move on, uh, move forward. And and it's very important that to acknowledge the Somali community here are are just not here to you know protest against anybody, to, but they, they're here to make sure that they are unified, and the unity of Somalia is important. And Somalia, as you know, there it's coming out of. Uh, 
several 20 years of uh, chaos. The, uh, the government of the Federal Republic of Somalia is doing a wonderful job, and the country is moving forward, so the community in Clarkston. On top of that, um, um, we know that, we are aware of that, some members of the council uh, uh, went to Somalia, Master Awed and Mario Williams. Uh, on behalf of the Somali community, we would like them to disclose who invite and who paid the expenses and how much it cost and who was behind it. There are a lot of rumors in the community that members of Clarkston, uh, council members, were paid perks and free tickets, free meals to go and speak on behalf of Clarkston. If that's the case, that's not true. That's right, that we, we are just telling that's not true. That's fine, but we are requesting the city of Clarkson, if there's an ethical committee out there, to investigate if there has been any code of conduct that was valid for that trip. For the record, if there's an ethical committee to just disclose the expenses for the voters and for the city of Clarkson. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to you introduce yourself. Give, give us your name. Oh, sure. I'm Ibrahim Abukar. I am a resident of Clarkston. I have been for 20 years. And uh, I would like to thank the mayor, Ted Terry, as well as the city council women and men and all the members. I also would like to thank everyone who's present here tonight, the Somali community. Uh, Terry, uh, Mr. Terry, I would like to thank you for holding this meeting tonight as already it's been scheduled, especially uh, the meeting that has been for this event. As you can see, the Somali community is here tonight and it is because the event, the, uh, event that was held or the recognition, that is the reason why we are here tonight. It was a small gesture for your part, but it has made a headline. It was actually made BBC, it has made all the Somali media, whether it is online, whether it was all the Somali TV, whatever the Somali uh, language speaking, you don't know, but we listen, we are the uh, radio people, we listen, TV, radio, every, all of us, we do. We, it made it all over the places. Some of people made it fun, as city of Clarkson as being a tiny, like a system, you know, inside the United States, like a system like, if that makes any sense to anyone. Um, but it was a big deal, that small gesture. Um, because it was the first ever in across the world. It was the first city, not a country, but a city. So, um, what we are saying is that we have, I didn't know, I did not know. And I live in the city, and I'm, we are, we were a news people, we, we broadcasted a, a WATB for more than 10 years. Me and uh, Mr. Mohammed Hassan and other people. 20 years. No, more than 20 <laughs> years. So we it's were like these people. We broadcasted here. We did not know. But we, we needed to know and we needed to come here to show tonight. And uh, we appreciate you taking the steps to say, okay, there was a mistake we realized. And uh, someone decided, okay, we need to correct this. And so a mistake was made for recognizing because not everyone believes that Somali need to be separated. Majority of us believe that Somali needs to be united. And so we decided that needs to be united. And so someone said, okay, we need to stay together. And so that's why we are here tonight. And we appreciate that someone believes that it needs to be united. 
And that's why we are here tonight and to say no. And we all believe that it should be stay together. And thank you for doing this. And I thank every one of you, whoever this, and that's why we are here. And thank you very much. And thanks for everyone for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. 